What up YouTube and welcome to part 4 and the finale of Hopeless Rescue. Today we're going to start things off in Timberwolf Mountain, but we have a trek in ahead of us. We don't have a lot of time and we need to make our way all the way to Desolation's Point. I hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. And with the intro out of the way, let's get started. And we're back. Today's the day, I think. Uh, we got just about two days to get out of here um, and head back to, or not back to, but head over to Desolation's Point. I checked that. I think there was a crate over here I might have overlooked. Not a crate, but a container. Let's see. Nothing in it. I'll take the reclaimed, I think, while I have the uh, weight. Another piece there. And we're heading out of here. Um, we basically, we got the flare gun. If I remember correctly. Yep, we got the flare gun. We got seven flares. It may be worth it to just ditch the revolver and use the flare gun. In case we encounter any trouble. But we are going to head back to the mountaineering hut. And try to make our way quickly back to... Uh, through all the regions and over to Desolation's Point. I got just under two days to do it. Um, it should be doable, but we're cutting it close. Um, I need to get back down this rope over here, so I can't be too tired when I do that. Uh, we're going to need to get down this rope. I realized in the last part, I put the wrong rope down. Or I put the rope down in the wrong section. So we're going to need to grab the other one that I left in the cave and bring that with us. And then we're going to try to get back to the river and then follow that to the mountaineering hut. And then just make our way all the way back to uh, the other regions. So as you can see right down there, I put that uh, that rope there. That's the wrong one. We don't need that one. Um, we're just going to work our way down the rope here and essentially just kind of run as fast as we can to get to Desolation's Point so we could fire the lighthouse and call this challenge completed. Uh, I think I can just make it straight away. Yeah, I think we're fine. This is draining, but our hand strength is fine. We can get over to the next rope and keep making our way down. So we came out of the cave last time. Uh, the cave that led from Secluded Shelf. That cave is, um... That, basically, that cave is over where we need to be. We want to head back over to that cave, but there's a rope that's over there that you could see um, when we came out. We're going to climb down that rope next. And I'm going to just grab these mushrooms, make sure we kind of... At some point, I'm going to need to start a fire. And we're going to need to warm up. And I might want to take an emergency stim and just deal with the exhaustion. Uh, in order to get the rest of the way there. But let's see how we do. Alright, we're coming back up on this cave over here. And essentially, there should be that other rope in here. We're going to grab it quick. I wonder if it would be beneficial to, like, start a fire and then, like, take a piece of this deer and eat it. We got some firewood here. I just don't want to waste any more time. What do we got? What are we looking like on food? Actually, we're pretty good on food. Let's eat this. Just keep our calories up. It's the energy that's going to be the biggest concern. Because it's going to be very difficult to climb without... It's going to be very difficult to climb without the energy to do so. But I think that's where we might just hit the emergency stim and try to at least get back to the mountaineering hut. Um, or sleep a little bit to try to recover. Tempted to grab these mushrooms quick. I hear the birds, the, the ptarmigans. Um, so the cave is there that we came out of last time. And then right over here is another rope. That's where we wanna go. So we're gonna hit climb down that rope. 
and then there should be another rope deployment kind of towards our left and that's where we're gonna want to go uh, we're gonna want to deploy the rope we just picked up and then that'll get us down to the river we could follow the river south and then um, we can follow the river south and then there's another rope climb and then we're basically work on our way straight down to um, the, the I'm too encumbered there's a wolf what do I have on me that's how much am I over I'm 20 pounds over this is the problem can I sleep 27 yeah I can sleep maybe two hours Oh shit! What the hell? Where did you come from, dude? Well, this ain't good. I'm not in a good spot. And why am I smelly? Because I'm bloody? Please don't come back. What the hell was that? Holy shit. Uh, don't know what to do. Um, he's gonna come back, probably. Um, you know what? Screw it. Give me that. Use it. And now, what's going on? I've never used this before. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, how am I the guy who gets attacked sleeping in a bedroll on Hopeless Rescue? Like, how am I that guy? Okay, give me the flare. Just, I'm popping it. I'm not dealing with the wolves. At least we know we're good on the uh, bear. Didn't even know he could freaking go up there. Holy Jesus. Uh, and what is the problem? I'm probably infected. I just want to get the hell out of this area. There's a river. Here's the other rope deployment. Let's just get down. Um, deploy. And I'm going to be tired again. God damn it. Okay, um, we're gonna. I, it sucks to emergency stim again right now. I need to take those. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um, At least can get the yeah, at least this can get can get me to the mountaineering hut, and then from there, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it definitely sucks that I just got attacked by a bear. And I don't want to use that third stim to go down the mountain. I don't know if I can make that there. I think it's over here. I cannot believe I got attacked by a bear. Here it is. Can I make it? Okay, I made it. Yep, I got you. But if we fall, we're all right. And we didn't fall. Perfect. Okay. Basically, from here, we're following the river back down to the mountaineering hut. I'm just going to hobble our way over there. And then, real quick, let me just take a look at the character screen. Uh, infection risk. But I just took antibiotics, right? 
Oh, no, I need antiseptic or lichen. Fuck. Um, I gotta find some, uh, some lichen. Because I took antibiotics, but I didn't take... Yeah, I need some lichen. Damn, and I saw some lichen right by that cave before we got attacked by the bear, so I could have just did it there. I could have grabbed some. Um, there might be some antiseptic in uh, the mountaineering hut. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll keep my eyes peeled too. If I can see a tree to grab some antiseptic from, or some lichen from, I'll grab it. Uh, we just need like two pieces, maybe three pieces. There, there it is. Let's go. Fuck, and there's the bear. God damn it. How the hell did you get down here so fast, man? Alright, he's not, he's not chasing after me right now. I was warned that I would be in bear country if I were to, uh, if I were to, um, take this route back. And I took it anyways. All right, we're getting some distance. And I'm not going to screw around with this torch. Let's just get it here and just pop another one. All right. Cool. Let's keep going. We're, we're very close to the mountaineering hut. I can't sprint at all. Let's keep heading this direction. Some more lichen. I really would like to gather it. The river's this over this hill here. So, yeah, we'll keep going. Oh, there's a tree. We've got the torches. I'm a little upset I burned those two. I'm a little upset I burned those two stems, but. I think it was the right move because it would have taken us twice as long to get down and we're already at half condition now with that bear attack. I do need to get this lichen because I don't have any more, uh, oh, I do have a little bit more antibiotics. Uh, do I have a T? I don't think I did because it would have been highlighted in the character screen. Yeah, no, doesn't matter. The T doesn't matter. Okay, uh, there's some more wolves down here. Okay. We're just about there. It's not the worst. And my well-fed's gone. That would have been nice to keep. I think we get back to the mountaineering hut. I might need to just sleep. I can use the condition, but I already lost 50% of it. And we're going to be in... I'm trying to think about the um, coastal highway. We're going to be in bear country there, too. And that bear is a little glitchy. I don't see the bear... I'm going to go over to this wolf and scare him off. I want to drop this this flare and uh put it, yeah, okay, he's good. He's staying there. There. Ugh. He's staying there, which is good. So, I could come over here and then I'm going to drop this torch and we're going to harvest this lichen. All right, so let's drop this right here. Perfect. And let's go ahead and that's fine. Not the flare gun, but it's fine. 
And let's grab these quick. Okay, and let's uh, maybe just get over to this fishing hut. Or not. We'll get the, the wolves coming back, so we'll head over to the mountaineering hut. And then at least I know we're safe. He's fine. He's at a far enough distance. I'm not too worried about him. I don't see the bear coming anymore. We seem to have lost him. Which is a beautiful thing. I would like to get the rest of the way. Because I don't want this freaking wolf. Cool. I need to get to this hut, and I don't want to start another... I don't want to start another flare-up in order to get there. So, we shot that wolf away. He ran off scared. And, uh, let's just get inside. And, uh, knowing my luck now, I'll probably get to the front door and there'll be a wolf inside the cabin. And we'll get mauled. Alright. We made it. We're back. I hear... Oh, he got the deer. I was like, I hear the wolf attacking something. closed give me that flare all right and uh more matches was there anything in here the water purifying tablets and in here nothing all right let's um get a fire started or let's and i make the lichen yeah craft that Losing condition. I don't like it. And then let's go ahead and use that. Alright, great. Cool. So we don't have to worry now about that infection. Uh, I'm going to start a fire. If I can. Can I take the oil out of this? Let's see. Okay, let's see if I can pull the oil out of this thing. One hour to do it. Okay, drop it. All right, torch is lit. Let's get a fire going. Start at Third time's a charm. All right, awesome. Very good. Let's get these in the fire, warm that up. Add a couple of those. We'll add that too. And we'll warm up here quick. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll take a nap. I really don't want to uh, sleep here for very long. I'm gonna put that there. 
and there. I will actually add these sticks too. Six hours. I don't think I have enough time to sleep. Maybe four hours. And let's make some, uh, maybe some tea. Cook. Uh, can we heat up? Yeah, we can heat up a pinnacle peaches. And I'll grab that cooking. I'll grab the cooking pot over here. And we will, uh, we'll use that to cook too. cook maybe uh, we should probably cook some water and we'll pass the time for this and we'll eat it right now and let's go ahead and cook some tea and I will prepare some reishi those 17 minutes on that these are cold that's fine okay that's good that's good what's our water like 17 and we'll place this and we'll place this I guess I'll heat these up while we're sitting here and just make sure they don't burn very good. That's got that. Let's take it. Six minutes till melted. Okay, we'll move that. So that's good. Move that one too. And that one. Alright, we'll drop that other T. Can you place it? Thank you. Thank you. All right, move that, 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 and that. That too, and that. Those should all be fine now. Uh, this I'll take. We can use these purifying tablets. All right, let's see here. Water. Oh, nope, that doesn't work. Uh, let's use these. Great, now let's look at the food real quick. We could drop that. Just drop it all. I'm not taking it. Okay, all those are good. None of them are burning. That's got five hours left. Let's do four. I'm going to leave the cooking pot. Uh, we need to pull some torches. And we're off. Oh, we need a drink. Drink that coffee. And we'll drink that tea. I'm not thirsty. Okay, I drink it anyways. Should keep us warm. It's not too cold. That's good. Um, we're going to head this way. Get over to the 
rope climb down if I need to heat up at the next stop by the, uh, where that, like, broken building is in Pleasant Valley, we'll go there. We still got one day 11 hours, so I'm cutting this a lot closer than I wanted to, for sure. I don't need to break my legs, so let's try to go down this hill a little bit. Uh, every sprain is just going to make us move slower. I'm hoping the wind holds out. I don't really want to deal with any blizzards or bad weather. That could end the whole run. Uh, we did not recover as much condition as I wanted to. But unfortunately, we're kind of up against, you know, the wall here. All right, we're going to head back this way. This is the way to Pleasant Valley. Keep watching this torch. I didn't take any firewood. We should, we're good on matches. We have like 30-something matches. Um, we have... I got a couple torches here. I definitely got enough torches to get us to the... Uh, to the next kind of stopping location to start a fire if we need to. Only problem and only trouble is we don't have much lamp fuel. So... I don't have like a guaranteed method to start a fire. Unless I happen to stash a couple or didn't pick up a couple more, um, uh, like accelerants. I don't remember. We'll just have to see if we luck out as we go. Okay, we're in the landing gear. And then up through this little alcove here is going to be another rope climb that we're going to climb down from. Down's always easier than up, so we have that working in our favor. We definitely want to keep going, and I think at that other, I think in the other, I wish I could remember what the place is called, but the next location we're going to, the point of interest, I believe I left a bunch of coffee there, like coffee grounds, um, I think I left uh, some coffee cups, so if that's the case, that's going to be very helpful. I took all the stims with me, so the three stims I have are the only three stims I had. Um, I've got one left. I'm going to try to hold off on taking it until, like, the very last stretch. If we need to, like, hightail it off to uh, the lighthouse or something, we can, we can pop it to get there. Alright, we're hungry. Would, like, take a second to eat. All right, we don't have a ton of food on us either, but I do believe I left some food down this way too because we had to climb up the rope climb and I needed to cut weight. Don't sprint. We still got a one day 11 hours, so time's ticking slow. There's noises everywhere. The weather's holding out, so that's good. We want that to keep happening. And I'm going to keep making my way through this little channel here. Hoping to get to... Uh, to the next rope climb. Now, once we get down the rope... Well, we'll leave Timberwolf Mountain first. That way it doesn't go out on our climb down. So we're back in Pleasant Valley. We need to go down this rope here. And then there's the the little the little camp I set up. We can get back to point of contention or whatever it's called. Disagreement, I think it is. So we'll get to point of disagreement and then we got to go left and basically follow that until we get back to the mining road. We want to take the mining road uh, over to... The mining road leads to Coastal Highway. Coastal Highway I think goes to Crumbling Highway and then there's a mine at the end of Crumbling Highway that gets us to Desolations Point. So we still got quite a, a bit of distance to cover. 
Anything down there? I don't know if it's possible for the bear to be down here. Can I go over here? I don't know if I want this or not, but... Down by the stove is better than up here. Can't see. I don't know what I heard either. Alright, cool. So we're here. I don't like that it's snowing. And this is where we left a bunch of stuff. Keep that. Can I start a fire here real quick and keep warm? I don't have a lot of tinder plugs. Let's just cross our fingers. Hopefully it works. Itch. Try again. Come on, little fire. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think we got it. All right, that's great. Get that out of here. Okay, add that fuel. These logs aren't gonna do me any good if I'm dead or rescued. What was in here? Oh, we got food galore. And anything else? Any other car? Oh, we could take, oh, that's barely anything. Take it. Uh, we got a ton of drink. Oh, let's take this. Yeah, give me that. And let's go back over here. I think we can put that away. And those. I don't think I need the. Eh, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, let's cook. that and that actually let's drop the wood and let's grab some of this and we're gonna add that fuel too grab all of those take that want to drop this drop you drop thank you drop that too organize these real quick great am I I'm warm that's good let's cook some more here I kind of want to cook the pinnacle peaches. And I need to do a reishi. I'm sorry if I'm a little scattered. I'm trying to figure out how to best balance what we need to get done with the amount of time we have. Take that and let's cook a reishi. And those can keep going. And then these are going to burn if we don't move them. 
All right, great, 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 great. And then let's drop these. That there. Where's the other one? There it is. All right, perfect. I should have probably grabbed that thermos. I just don't think they last long enough. And should I sleep? Like, if I sleep, are we gonna hit a blizzard? If I don't sleep, I, I mean, eventually I'm gonna lose my ability to sprint. I'm not gonna be able to last long enough. We're at one day, nine hours. I still got quite a ways to go in 24 hours. Good. Two minutes. That. They're fine. Hmm. All right, where's that other? Right here, drop it. Okay, and we'll move these one last time, make sure they don't burn. All right, cool. I'm gonna put down I'm going to put down a, uh, my bedroll. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to drink that. Cool. All right. So move these one last time. that in there. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to leave that. These are all good. I'm going to sleep another like three hours, I think. And try to just get myself to a good energy spot for us to move. It's not an aurora, right? No, but it's cold as all hell. All right, let's uh, one day five hours, and oh, it's almost morning. I could drink these. I could go. I got. I'm gonna do like another two hours, and then we're gonna go. That's not good. Okay. It just sounds bad. I got one coffee left, so... I'm gonna drink that. Drink those two. And... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick this up. And anything in here I want to grab real quick. All right, we're good. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna blow out. I have a feeling my torch will blow out. We want to head this way towards the road. I'm gonna get back to the bridge. Conditions gone up. It's cold as all hell. There it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and take this out just in case. I hear, or I heard a wolf off in the, there's one right there. And he sees me. Okay, we can crack the flare if we need to. Now we want to get to the mining area. One day, three hours. Not time to panic yet. 
but boy are we moving slow. Alright, we're on the road. We want to keep following the road now and uh, hightailing it over to uh, the mine. So this road basically goes all the way to the end and that gets us to the mine, I believe. So let's see. Head up this way. There's the mine. Oh, not their mine. There's the bridge. Ooh, it is cold. I hate when it's cold. I hate the cold personally. I don't like it. I used to live in a cold climate. I moved. I hate it. I hated it. And I will always probably hate it. It's uncomfortable. It's pretty. But the snow is beautiful. Like, the uh, scenery looks beautiful. But actually being in the cold, it's it sucks. All right, we're going to keep going down the road here. Oh, there's a cave over there. I didn't ever do that. I want to go in it, but not today. <sighs> okay, we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, so this... As long as we don't hit encounter the bear... I really think that's our biggest concern is the bear and the time. As long as we can keep running and making our way there, I really wish I had some uh, like full energy and I wish I had a few more coffees. But I just cannot Is that the bear? What the hell is that? That is a bear, right? Yeah, that's the bear. Literally was like, don't don't encounter the bear, and he's right freaking there. Alright, well, keep going. We go around. Keep a wide berth. He can keep bumbling on that way. Where is he? I need to go back down, so I need to know where he is. I'm just wait here a minute and let him keep walking. I see the wolf off in the distance. I just need to be out of his range enough so that way he doesn't come after me should he um like if I I just need him not to come after me if I come up behind him. I also don't know if he turns direction, so that's always possible. Keep trying to hug these rocks. Yeah, there he is. All right, good. Woo, there's my torch from before. Keep running. Are my teas cold? Hot, hot, any of them hot? No, none of them are hot. Uh, do I warm them up quick? I think I do. Let me heat them up. A little bit of oil. Start. Okay, perfect. Put that away, please. Oh, I gotta turn it out. I gotta turn it off. Let's put uh, a couple sticks on. And let's just go ahead and drop the teas. Let's go ahead and make the other teas. And actually, let's go ahead and heat up one of these tomato soups, too. All right.
All right, I'm going to wait here for a minute and just let these cook. Okay, these are all done. Well, they're not hot yet, so we want them to get hot. Pass the time here. Eat that. Great. How long has this got? 18 minutes? We'll take... We'll drink that. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Okay. Well, take that with us. And we'll take another torch, which will probably go out. Yep. There it goes. And we will take the flare out again like we had before. And we're warm. I wish I was a little bit thirstier so I could have another tea. Alright, so we're going to follow this down to that split by the end of the road. Um, and then... It's going to go towards the right. And we're going to follow the road back down that way until we reach the the trail that takes us up to the mining camp and then and then we're going to take the mining camp up to coastal highway one day one hour two hours basically one day two hours i'm going to run a little bit i think the regions are seem bigger than they actually are too so as long as we kind of Keep pace and just keep moving. We should be fine. I think this is that road I was talking about. Yeah, that's the car. So we want to head to our right over here. And keep sprinting. And what's over here? Is this the mine? Oh, cool. This is not as far as I thought it was. Awesome. So, yeah, we need to head up this hill. And then get through the mine. I'm just trying to decide, like, where I want to, like, periodically sleep. I don't want to drink this coffee yet. I want to try to periodically sleep... So that way we can uh, continue to just push forward with, you know, and be able to sprint. Take these. Come on. I don't want to light this flare by mistake. All right. And got it. Okay. That should do it. Um, being able to make a couple more teas is going to help us stay warm. And I want to keep going. It's a new day, so we do have quite a few hours of daylight to work with. Um, the sun just rose, so that's good as well. Always keeping our eyes and ears peeled for any wildlife. Can't sprint at the moment. I'm a little encumbered. I wonder if I should take a second here and maybe drop just a torch or two. Like, we can drop that one. We can drop that one. Maybe one more. Okay, maybe... That's good. I'm still a little bit overweight, but... That'll help. I'd be in better weight if I wasn't so dang tired. And I just need to make it up this hill. And we're in the mine. And then the coastal highway. I'll feel better because that feels like it's about halfway through. Once we get to Coastal Highway, uh, we're just going to follow the road basically and avoid the bear until we can get to Crumbling Highway. And then Crumbling Highway is pretty straightforward. With the ma And then we have one more little mine shaft to walk through. And then it's Desolation's Point, which should be pretty straightforward as well. I'm feeling a lot better being that we're at the mine already and we still have 24 hours to go. I was concerned it would take longer to get here than it has. Would like to take a nap though. 
I think our sleep at about halfway was pretty good. Okay, let's just beeline it straight to the mine. Can I go in? All right, it does open even though it's blocked off with uh the um boards. Okay, anything I need to look at and grab from here? No. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take out a torch instead. We're going to light it. Very good. And let's just go. Keep moving. We'll probably sleep at the other entrance maybe. Get a couple hours there. Okay, no, no. and what's in here? T-shirt, and I'll take the chocolate bar. I should probably take the bandage. Knowing me, I'm going to sprain something. Okay, and we carry on. All right, like I said, feeling a lot better. Would feel much better if I wasn't so tired. Would love to find another stim or a couple more coffees, even another can of coffee. I'll make them. I'll make all the coffees at once and then just drink them all. Uh, is this worth it? I'll take it. I can eat that quick. I went through all these, right? Yep. I missed that can of sardines, though. And can I sprint again? I can. And up, up, and away we go. Come on. Okay. I dropped those. Okay. All right. Was there any coffee in here? Sometimes I know I remember on my way through, there was a couple times I was like, I don't need that. Let's leave it. Like there's an antiseptic I could have used before. And was there anything I'd left stuff in here apparently or didn't search it at all. chocolate bar uh, the, I think these uh, connect I can't sprint too tired I think I do need to sleep a couple hours to try to get to be able to sprint I think it's crucial for us to be able to be able to run especially if there's wildlife the last thing I want to do is not be able to, to sprint around a bear or get away and it sounds pretty bad outside anyways let's do a double check I search this give me some coffee or something I would be surprised if I didn't take the coffee yeah nothing okay 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 um, nothing 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 I'm going to put down the bedroll. All right. We can get rid of that. Let's go ahead and we're going to drink uh, one of those herbal teas. I'm going to eat a couple things of food quick. I'm scared to eat the sardines. I always am. And let's get a couple hours of sleep. I think that's worth it. Five hours. All right, 19 hours. Let's go. Now, here's my thought here. It's cold. I don't know this upper section that well. Uh, also, there's nothing up this way. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff, but it's far more sparse than if we were to beeline it to the road. The bear patrols the road. 
So we need to be careful of the bear. But there are also a lot of buildings along the road. The more buildings we find, the more likely we find coffee, uh, another stim, things that can help me expedite our journey and power through the tiredness that we're going to have. Because I can't keep sleeping five hours at a time. It's not a good strategy. So we're going to try to get over to this road here safely. Come on, please don't. If I snap my leg right here at the bottom, I'm going to be pissed. All right, we made it down. Let's look both ways quick, and hopefully there's not a bear around one of these corners. And let's get in the building, see if I left anything, and then we're heading down the road. The log sort, that's right. Did I forget anything in here? Empty. Uh, crush can. These are all searched, I believe. Yep, 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 yep. This is, we're going to be speed running this, essentially. Oh, yeah, that fish is dead. Oh, nothing. Okay, nothing in the medicine cabinet. Some socks. Uh, let's take. Uh, no, I'm not taking. Eh. Just drink the soda. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, books. Can I give me that book? Thank you. There's a couple books that's 80% to start a fire. That's that's good. I like that. For sure. All right, now we're going to keep heading this way, and we need to make sure we don't run into the bear. I believe in us. I think, I think we're going to have some luck. We've had some luck pretty much all series. Ooh, what does that that lead to? This is the problem with not knowing the maps because that might lead to further down and be safer than walking on this road. Ooh, that scared me. I saw him and I was like, cool, he doesn't see me. And then he howled and that scared me. Not as much as that bear attack though. Holy Jesus, I'm just remembering. That scared the hell out of me. I was not expecting to get... I didn't think the bear could get up there. Like, there's nothing up there. But he did. I don't I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand how he would get up there in real life. Obviously, this is a game. But... Yeah, I would have I would have slept in that cave with a fire, I guess. All right. So we're here at the road. Do I need to leave the road now to get to where we need to go? I also should probably really have a flare out. There are a lot of wolves in this area. The bear loves the... I, uh, in Use It to Lose It, I got mauled by the bear out here. I'm not seeing any buildings there. I'm kind of, kind of, like, zigzag here. I'm gonna hit this, uh... Hit this fishing hut. You know, I wonder... I should check the map. But I wonder if... I were to go to like Jackrabbit Island, could I go across the ice? Instead of going all the way around, can we just go across the ice? Wolves out there. The only thing is I don't want to get turned around. I don't know these regions that well. If I get turned around, we're screwed. Following the road here is a perfectly safe strategy. There's no risk. There's no risk of getting turned around and finding out that we're back at the mining camp or the logging camp. And now I, I can't. I don't have enough time to salvage it. 
if I was a little bit earlier on the run, I might risk it to, to you know, in the name of science. But I think for where we are right now, getting to this, uh, staying towards the road is the better strategy. I think Quonset's over here. Quonset would be a nice stop. I bet you there's some coffee in there. Oh, there's a Karen too. I'm gonna keep keep on keeping on over the ice here. And I'm hoping that we run into the gas station. It's gotta be over here. There's a couple buildings. The bear is also by Quonset. Can I get in inside this building here? I think I can. I go ahead and do it. Get inside. It's a good thing nobody locks their houses. All right, any coffee? I see some peaches. I see a carrot. I see some oats. I'm going to just eat that. Like right now. Don't need that. What do you got in here? Some dog food in the cabinet. I'm going to put this flare away before I accidentally turn it on. Nothing there. Any coffee? No. I'll just drink a straight pot of coffee. I can leave that. And I'll take it, I guess, just to maybe have it. Let's see. Food. Let's go. Food, food, food. Let's eat this. 91%. It's going to load us up with calories. I'm going to eat that too. And eat this too. I'm gonna drop that, drop that. I'll keep the rest of that food. Peaches can stay. I'll take that granola bar. What's in the fridge? There could be a cup of coffee. Nothing. Let's get out of here. Not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Let's see. Are we by the gas station? Yes, we are. Oh, sick. Okay, let's go. I'm going to do a quick look in here. 17 hours left. Is this open? It is. I just want to check for coffee. I'm not staying. Uh, chips. Nope. A lantern. No, don't need that. And a coffee. That's what I wanted. Is there another one? This got 71%. Uh, I'll take the lantern fuel. I may just drop all the food that we have, cut a bunch of weight, and just run now. Let's get the fire started. Let's get this fire going. Let's get a coffee. Let's get the coffees made and then let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's put this away. And I'm going to go ahead and light that torch. There's a bedroll. Cool, let's start and let's use the accelerant. And 100%. Can't go wrong with that. Add some fuel. All right, let's put this out. Let's get the uh, can down and let's get the cooking pot down. Not that they go any faster. And let's cook uh, some coffee. Get those going. Is there a toilet in here? Can I get some more water, please? Saw. All right, nothing over there. Rye bar in the drawer. 
Don't need it, don't need it. There's a bunch of sodas there. There is a toilet. Take all. I'm trying to think if I need a uh, pry bar for anything else. I don't think I do. I think we can leave the pry bar here. I'm not going to take all those sodas. I think I'd like to cut some weight. And what do we got? Let's pass it, take it, and take it. Let's go ahead and cook the rest of them. Alright, what do you got here? I'm sitting here killing time anyway, so. Don't need it. Ooh, old farsh old farshand. Old fashioned parka. That's pretty cool looking. I don't need another flare shell. Probably don't even need all the flare shells I have. I really should look at the clothing. It's all dry. It's actually not that torn up. Uh, we got 21 minutes there. That's four minutes, four minutes. Let's go ahead and drop some inventory. Uh, we will drop this. We'll drop these. Drop these. I think we can get rid of this lantern too. Keep the knife in case something happens. Uh, we're good there. We're good on clothing. I think we're good, yeah. Oh, didn't mean to drink that. God damn it. And take the last tin of coffee. Cook it. Last time. And it's done. Perfect. Leave the can. Take that with us. Let's go. I'm going to drink two coffees now. And let's get out of here. Probably going to run into the bear. I'll be best to keep this out in case I do see the bear. Alright, keep following the road. I really wish it wasn't foggy. Would have been nice for that to stay. Not the case. If I can get far enough away from this damn dog, we should be alright. I don't mean to cut it a little reckless, but... I think once we get towards the end, there should be, like, really nowhere else to go. I don't want to deal with this freaking wolf, man. Okay, that worked. And let's go. This way. Keep going. Don't crouch. I want to keep running. I don't want to stop. I want to have a wide berth in case there's a bear. But also, if I can shoot the bear in the face, he's no longer a threat. I thought I had seven shell. I, you know what? I think because I lo reloaded it. I have, um, I think I have seven shells. It's like six, uh, spares and one in the chamber. We can make it through here pretty quickly. I think we're gonna, I think we're on par. I think we can make it still. 
I need to follow this around the bend here. I know it's like impossible to see. It's like something out of Silent Hill. But we'll keep on heading down this bend here. And once we get to the end, we're gonna, there's like a, up in the hill way over this way is a uh, like cave mine entrance that takes us to Crumbling Highway, I think. Or I think actually that might be the end of Crumbling Highway. At the end of the road here is like a landslide that we can crawl underneath to get to Crumbling Highway. That might be the case. It's looking pretty promising. Just keeping my self on point. Keep myself ready for this bear if he comes around. I like the ocean sounds. Ocean sounds to me feels like we're getting closer to Desolation's Point. God, I don't like the fog here. There's a there's a um a dead deer down there. We should get a warning from the bear though. If he does, if he is around, he should roar. And uh the deer down there too. Um we should be good. There's a car. Let's uh check it out quick. Probably lock trunk, right? I don't know the trunk's good. Cool. Anything in the back seat? A knife. Is that an MRE? Really need the MRE. Search the uh don't need those either, right? How are we doing on matches? Yeah, we got plenty of matches. I'll take the MRE. We get out. Just because it is small and packs a lot of calories. Uh we're kinda good on um food. Uh, I've got the basically the way I kinda looked at it is like I have the I drank that one maple syrup. We'll get the next maple syrup, right, if I need it, and I have that MRE. That should be all the food we need, really, for this for this run. When we get to a safe spot, we could probably dump all of the granola bars and call it. Head through here. I don't think we... We don't need to warm up. It is going to get dark here soon. We want to try to get through Crumbling Highway and get to the end of it and then uh, get to the end of Crumbling Highway and over to um, Desolation's Point. A quick spot to take a breath though wouldn't hurt because it is very difficult to see in the fog. And again, this not, I've only been through this region like one time. Abandoned Harris home. There's a note in there. I don't know if the bear's in this area either. I think we just keep following the road though. Always follow the road and get over to the, um, the mines like up in the, up in the way up here. There's a body or a, a deer. another one over there is it safe for me to eat can I uh, or not eat can I drink a coffee quick okay there's ocean yeah I think it's by that truck Alright, I think we cross this log here, maybe. Oh, don't fall. Please don't fall. 
Where is he? I just need to know where he is. If I land on top of him, I'm going to be upset. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, let's go down over here. Now we're heading up. We're on the other side now. Of course, he's running this way too. Let me up. I can't get over this freaking guardrail. Okay, there's a car. Is it back around this way? No, I think it is up by this car. All right, I've got some, uh, I still have some torch life left here. Last time I came through here too, it was a blizzard. So I just followed the road in the blizzard. And yes, here's the mine. Take that, and I'll take that, and let's just make our way through here. Uh, no, nope. that answers that. I was gonna say left or right. We're going to the right. And we got 15 hours or 14 and a half hours left. Uh, we're pretty much, we're doing pretty good. We're, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Equip it and let's just open this up. Cool. And this should hopefully get us through the rest of this mine here. Keep on going down this little hill here. Okay, and around. We're going to crouch through. All right, cool. Once we get through here, Desolation's Point's pretty easy. Uh, I know it well enough. Uh, I feel to, to navigate our way through. It's a... Uh, one of the maps on the, I guess you could say, on the right side of the map that I'm I'm kind of most familiar with and comfortable with. Anything of interest here real quick? Because we do have a few hours. Like, we're not crying about it. Nope, let's go outside. All right. So we're here. We can, uh... Oh, I could climb down there if I wanted to. Go down and around. We got plenty of flare life left. This, uh, I'm, I'm glad we, uh, feeling pretty good. It's, I mean, it's obviously not over till it's over, but I think the, I think we just about made it. You know, nobody wants to cheer before they cross the finish line. But I don't foresee us having too much trouble getting the rest of the way there the biggest threat is the bear the wolves aren't gonna um, mess us up it's a truck here yeah I think as long as we don't encounter the bear along the roadway here we can just beeline it straight to the lighthouse and that will be it Feels good. It was a little hair, hairy there for a second. Especially with that bear. Um, 
That bear attack, man. God, that bear attack. Uh, that was scary. Oh, Jesus Christ, my heart. You scared me, too. Thought the bear was, was there, too. I'm so worried about him. Uh, let's just go ahead and drink a coffee. So we can sprint the rest of the way. Maybe drink two coffees. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Okay, fine. We're pretty much here. The lighthouse is just about over there, I believe. Across that, that little ledge. We'll head over there. Is that a wolf howling? I think it is. Looks like... Yep, there he is. He sees me. Keep our distance. Just want to get down over here. They don't like the flare. I'm not too worried about it. We got half... Half the life on this flare left. And we'll just keep going down along this path. And we're crossing the bridges. With, uh... We'll probably have about 13 to... Probably about 13 hours to spare. In the challenge. By no means a speed run, but that's okay. I wasn't trying to go as fast as possible. I just wanted to do something a little bit different and uh, learn the maps a little bit better, and this definitely helped. I definitely have a way better feeling for Pleasant Valley. Definitely have way better understanding of of uh, Timberwolf Mountain, and even uh, Coastal and Crumbling Highway, like those. I mean, they're pretty straightforward anyways, as a region. Anything of interest? Just while we're here. Okay, nothing there. Yeah. And let's head upstairs. But I did, uh, you know, Coastal and Crumbling Highway, they're pretty straightforward. Um, but even those, I kind of have a better understanding. I understand the transition zone from Mystery Lake over to uh like the ravine and let's see should we light another flare oh yeah i got so many of them it's fine actually i like the other i don't hate the flare i hate the flare noises let's go ahead and light a torch i'm staring at the ceiling all right cool and then, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, I got a much better understanding of the regions. I don't need that. What did that say? Equip the distress pistol. Cool. A much better understanding of the regions. And that was the whole idea behind this challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. If you're interested in more long dark content, please consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next one.